Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Before today's episode start, I would just like to say that the video quality is a little bit reduced on this one. Uh, I experienced some technical difficulties, as I tend to do during Civilization V, and uh, I had to like save a corrupted movie file by converting it. So I managed to save it though, and I managed to save the entire thing. So that means that we get an episode today, but at the same time, it, it, the video quality is a little bit reduced, as you will see. But it should still be watchable. It's just like slightly lowered. But I felt like uh, explaining to you you guys why that is the case so i don't get a million uh, comments asking why the quality is so low uh in the next episode this issue is fixed so it's just a one-off but i hope you guys will still enjoy this episode uh so enjoy akanaya lies in ruins ladies and gentlemen uh, look at this glorious destruction that we wrought over palace smoke everywhere so yeah welcome back ladies and gentlemen my name is mangs and uh this is civilization 5 uh, fire emblem and uh, we are currently gearing up for a war against Robin. Robin has infantry. He's fairly advanced. Infantry, I think, have like 70 combat strength or something. So they're actually going to be really d difficult to take down. I'm actually wondering if maybe we should get land ships before we declare this war. Because uh, I think that our cavalry might suffer. Now the problem right now is that we don't have a lot of... Uh, hmm, 10 gold. You know what? Fine. Fine, Ephraim. Fine. We can do that. We can do that research agreement. We don't have a lot of oil at all, so the land ships cost oil, which is a bit of a problem. So we won't get that many of them, sadly. Aircraft also cost oil, sadly. So maybe we should strike now before Robin gets aircraft of his own. That might not be such a bad idea, actually. Huh. Also, let's upgrade this crossbowman. I don't know why we haven't yet. Yeah, I think that might actually be a good idea. Let's upgrade this guy as well. Yeah, I, I think maybe we should just declare war immediately. And, uh, yeah, because, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I might get a little bit too intimidated by the infantry. They will they will go down eventually. I mean, they got 70 combat strength, which is a lot more than I have. But uh, they, they're not invincible. I got a lot of modifiers. All right, fine. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We have already denounced him, so let's go. Do we have any trade routes? He only has trade routes with us. Alright, very well. I won't buck, hold back against you. Time to show you how it's done. So, I think I'll... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, the long fort is taking a lot of damage off the bat. I think it's probably a good idea to start by attacking it, although I'm not a big fan of this artillery being in attack range, so I'm actually going to move it back. And then I'm just going to move all the units in here. As you can see, this infantry will do a lot of damage to me, so I should probably back off from it, so I don't take too much damage. I should also probably, like, produce some cheap units and burn. So that I can put them into uh, garrison in my captured cities. Probably like some great war infantry or something would be nice. Or some Gatling guns. Gatling guns probably work good as well. We need at least three Gatling guns. I don't think we need this police station to be quite honest. Also, are we growing burn now? Yes, we are. We still have... Uh, maybe we don't need these uh, citizens in the factory though. Come to think of it. I think it'll, it'll grow faster if we take them out of it. Yeah, three turns to grow. All right, let's see what Robin's made of, shall we? Ba 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 ba. Anyway, let's spread our religion. We haven't sp <laughs> spread Idun to the world. Ah, uh, yeah. And here's the oil oil platform. Only two oil though. That's seriously all the oil we have. That's not great. Anyway, I think I'll keep qu quick movement on for now. Wow, here comes the denunciation. I think they were friends. I think they were friends indeed. All right, here comes uh, Robin. Can we get the music back? Ba 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 ba. Nope. Okay. Thanks, Ephraim. You're an asshole. Fuck it. We want music. We're gonna get music. All right. Let's continue. So, um, Robin is moving in with some infantry right here, and as you can see, they're quite difficult to take down. But with all these bonuses, I actually have more combat strength than them right now, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I think I'll just go for the long fort. I'll probably keep it. Okay, now we got uh, logistics as well. So now we can attack twice. Always amazing whenever your artillery gets logistics. Oh, wow. Almost uh, lost an artillery right there. How dare you, Robin. Anyway, I'm going to take the long fort. I'm going to next it. 
and then move out immediately. I think I'm gonna target fire his cannons rather than his artillery, or rather than his infantry. Okay, he's also moving up here. Um, we probably want to send some uh, cavalry up here to reinforce the city. And then we got to kill these guys. Oh, we can attack once more. There we go. Are there no one else left who can attack? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, we're healing at double rate inside our friendly territory, so this should be alright. Let's just grab some... not a shrine. Let's grab some walls in the city. Let's see if we can hold it. I, I do expect Robin to come at me with a lot of horses right now. Anyway, we gotta spread this religion. Now, it's the majority religion. Awesome. Alright, I think we'll just keep this carol here. Same with, uh, same with, same with this one. We can upgrade them. I think, don't they upgrade to ironclads? Yes, they do. I'm not sure how useful they're gonna be. Well, I guess robbing the ships are not gonna be useful at all, so... You call what you put on table a proposal to the 6th Congress of Edessa? Is that supposed to be a joke? Disgusting! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, he is coming back, and he's coming har back pretty hard right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe we should actually grab range. Ah, fuck it. We are... Uh, okay, so we need to defend... The long fort right now if we have if we want any hopes of actually winning here so let's move in Oof. this is uh i might actually lose the long fort again if this keeps going i can't build any citadel sadly for defense all right move in attack move in attack and move out again Okay, so yeah, Robin's got cavalry too. As long as I can just protect the city, I should probably just surround it. I think that's the best way to go. So I'm gonna move this artillery back to heal it up. Like so. Should we attack this Gatling gun? I don't think so. I think I'll, I'll rather just heal up. We'll do this. Hopefully, I mean, we are now getting the wonder that gives us bonus and friendly lands. We are actually unhappy right now, which is not great. I think we want the stadiums right now. It, it's not the end of the world if the city falls, but it certainly would be a bit annoying. Anyway, let's grab a landmark artifact right here. Let's make sure we work it. That gives us six culture. No, seven culture. That's absolutely insane. We're getting 295 culture per turn right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty insane. Burn cannot be trusted. I strongly advise you get away from them as soon as possible. Or else you will regret it! Mm -mm. Oh, shit. Robin's coming in pretty hard, right? Oh my god, that's a big army. Oh, they're going for Farah. Oh, snap. Looks like Robin has a lot more shit than I thought he had. <laughs> Was a lot more shit than expected. Holy moly. Alright, let's send some Gatling guns to reinforce. And again, pretty sure we want mobility on these guys. Holy shit, that is a big army, Robin has. <laughs> okay, let's uh, tank his uh, Gatling guns. Our cavalry is still pretty strong, though. Alright, so we gotta go up and protect our northern cities, because it looks like Robin is not planning to strike the Longford at all. It looks like he's planning to strike either Deal or Farah. And those cities are not gonna hold out against an army that big, I can tell you that much. Alright, we got another, let's see, that's another landmark improvement. Let's make sure we work that. Now we're getting 310 culture per turn. Mm-mm. Ooh, I swallowed the Pepsi Max wrong. Ugh, that hurts. Ugh. Ow, 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 ow. Have you ever swallowed soda wrong? It's not pleasant. At all. Okay, uh... 
So yeah, he's just completely ignoring the long forward, and he's planning to hit me on the flank. What a what a strategist he is. All right, so I think we want charge potentially. Blitz is good as well, but I prefer to just do more damage with my attacks. And now we also got maybe we should get blitz though. We could also get drill. Mounted units. Robin doesn't really have any mounted units, so we're just gonna go with blitz. Attack, attack, and back off. Attack and back off. Alright, let's move the artillery in. We definitely will need artillery support. Alright, let's back off. Holy shit, these guys are pretty nasty. Alright, let's move in Brunya. Uh, the caravels aren't really gonna do much. Yeah, that's like one, two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he only has cannons, though, which is a good thing for me. Cannons are not as dangerous as artillery, thank god. But they're still pretty deadly. Alright, what do we want in Dragon's Gates? Probably a stadium, and then a military base, I think. And probably a museum. Alright, the Gatling Gun is here. We'll put this guy into Talus. We just want Gatling Guns everywhere in all of our major cities. I think this guy can go to the Long Fort to garrison it. New research agreement. What does Narshan want? You know, Narshan, you're very fond of horses, so why don't you trade... Yeah, there we go. Gold for horses. Works for me. I don't know what Robin's planning to do over here. It's His troop movements doesn't really make a lot of sense, but hey. Alright, so... Lightning Warfare is pretty fucking good. But I think we want police state. Quantity of strategic resources would be good as well, but this is going to help our happiness out a lot. Look at this. Boom. 11 happiness. Right off the bat. Alright, let's uh, do some hit and runs. We took down one Great War Infantry. We are just so much more mobile than Robin, which is a, which is a real blessing. Artillery ain't doing that much, though. Right, let's place the Gatling Gun in here. And I think we'll just wait. I think we'll just be patient. We can cut him off. We don't need to advance too far into his territory. That's just gonna get our units killed. So let's not do that. Let's just be patient and let his units place themselves in vulnerable situations. It doesn't look like he's planning to do much at all, really. Alright, looks like an artillery is venturing into uh, unfriendly territory. Let's take it down. So I think maybe going for the Twins Turf would be would be an idea next. Alright, let's take down this uh, Great War Infantry. There's not that much difference between Great War Infantry and Infantry. I think they have like a difference of 20 or 15 combat strength or something, so it's not the worst. But yeah, we'll definitely move in with artillery and take down the next... Uh, I think definitely the Twins Turf is what we're going to go for next, and then... Once we're done with that, we can go for Illistil. Someone pointed out, they asked me why I ke why I keep like wiping out civs completely. And the reason why I do it is mainly just for convenience. I just like to get rid of them so they stop denouncing me. Um, but it does, I mean, at, at this point, I don't really care about Warmongering Penalty. Narshan's certainly not going to give a shit, so why should I? And Narshan's pretty much our only ally. Anyway, I think we want the Hermitage for some culture, possibly. That's a good uh, good national wonder. And then we probably want the stadium. Although we have 25 happiness right now, we might that might go down in the future. So let's uh, queue up these buildings right here. And we have another Gatling gun. I think I was sending this Gatling gun to deal. Yes, I was. So now I got a garrison in every single city, which is really nice. 26 gold with Castle Ostia. I'm glad some of the other civs haven't started declaring war on me yet like they did in the last game. They might do that soon, though, once I start taking multiple capitals. Mm -hmm. Alright, this artillery is done. I think I want another Gatling gun. To place in... Uh, to place in uh, Altea. Alright, this guy now has charge as well. Let's move in. Let's attack and then move back. Attack, and then move back. <laughs> Classic cavalry tactics. Alright, so we'll place this guy here. We'll place... No, wait, that will be in range, so let's not do that. Let's instead just pillage. Do I want the Twins Turf? I'm not actually sure. I I'm probably I probably have to calm down a little bit on the cities that I'm taking, but with the, like, the, the build that I'm currently going, 
I can almost, almost afford to take every single city. Just because of how, like, I'm getting courthouses automatically. And I have so many, like, policies that increases my happiness whenever I capture cities. So it's almost like I can just keep capturing cities without any consequences at all. Which is kind of funny. I mean, I have 23 happiness right now. Which is pretty fucking good. And now, Robin is, uh... Offering peace deals. I'm not gonna let him know. Holy shit, Alinsha, you got a lot of cash. Oh my god, so do I, though. I could probably, like, buy shit in my cities if I wanted to. I could probably, like, to keep, like, to keep, um... But, nah, I think I want to save the money for upgrades and shit like that. Upgrades are expensive. Alright, let's start shooting on the Twins' turf. And we can also do some pillaging right here. Yeah, I think I might... I possibly will not keep the Twins' turf, depending on what kind of buildings we have there. Not exactly sure. Anyway, we can uh, pillage this trade route, and then retreats. I think we can probably advance on Illistal as well. We have enough forces to do a two-pronged attack, I think. Let's pillage some shit. We could probably join with this guy as well and start pillaging. Robin's army went down pretty quickly. <laughs> I expected him to last a little longer than this. But I guess the power of Cephiel is simply too great. Hmm. That is a Illus Elise Cannon and a Musician. Okay. That certainly is interesting. Thanks for the Musician, I guess. Also, who's that? Oh, Akanayan Cannons? Really? Martha's still in this game? I thought I completely wiped him off the face of the earth. I guess I didn't. Huh. Alright, that's cool. I was not aware that that was still a thing. Alright, let's kill the Twins Turf. Both of these guys got logistics, so this, this, thing, will, this thing will burn pretty quickly. There we go. Pillage, pillage. And now we got logistics on this guy as well. Awesome. We can pillage. <laughs> Pillaging is almost a little bit too good. I gotta be like, I, I remember back back when Civilization, when you did not, when you did not get hit points for pillaging. Anyway, let's grab an aqueduct right here, as well as uh, stoneworks and barracks, get some walls up in here. Just get all the quick buildings going right away. And all the workers are currently at work repairing the shit. Yeah, Marth, I know, you're still in this game. I think we're, we're, we're not at war with him, though. No, we're not. We certainly are not. Ooh. Almost lost my cavalry right here. Guess we gotta go and uh, pillage some farms. Cause what do we want to do with these guys? Yeah, we got logistics, so let's start attacking Illustal. We just got another Dragon General, which is kind of cool. I guess you could go up here. Norshin! We got Norshin! <laughs> He's finally decided to join the war! Oh my god, that's, that's great. Holy shit, that's great. We got Norshin, everyone. Finally. Just wondering when that guy'd show up. All right, take the twins' turf. Let's uh, you... ooh, ooh, we will return the civilian to Narshan. So look at all these green modifiers. We have zero red modifiers with him right now. Let's view the city. Is this city worth having? Not really. This city is kind of trashy, so I'm gonna burn this city. There's no point. I'm going to take the artifact out though, because there is a great work of art right here. So, Twins Turf, Twins Turf, Twins Turf, yeah. A great work of musical art right here. Alright, well, that city fell quickly, holy shit. Uh, okay, okay Martha's not at war with us, but it looks like he's, like, moving into the Clare War, which is kind of hilarious. Anyway, let's grab walls in the city, and an armory for happiness. Wow, look at us, we have 20 happiness. I am now the leader, too. I am bulldozing through this country. Alright, let's go for Blitz. We could also go with Medic, but I think Blitz is working out better right now. There we go. Now we got Logistics here as well. Oh, we should probably make sure the Dragon General is in range. There we go. Logistics. 
And we can probably... Oh, 100 defense strength is a lot, though. I would prefer not to get shelled by that if I can avoid it. That's gonna hurt a lot, I think. Yeah, it looks like Robin still has a lot of horses. But he's like, they're not in position at all. Alright, uh, Twin Turf, you're gonna burn down, so it doesn't matter what we build here. Altia! Again, I'm gonna go with all these one-turn buildings. And then the Colosseum, most likely. We have another... Yeah, I'm not sure if we need another Jaren General, but we might as well bring him with us. I mean, Narshan... If Narshan doesn't want to join the war, then at the very least... <laughs> he can join as a Jagan General, right? Yeah, it looks like Robin's actually trying to take back the Twins' turf. That's kind of cute. Not gonna happen, though, my good friend. Not gonna happen. Alright, I think we might be able to take Illistal on this turn. Possibly. We sure can. Okay, so this, uh, do we... Yeah, we should probably get Shock 3 on this guy. Boom. An X to City. Now we're gonna make sure that Robin doesn't take it back, so I'm gonna move in and surround the city. But yeah, let's uh, view the city, shall we? So, what kind of wonders does Robin have? He has uh, the Academy of Kadain, which gives tourism. He has Shichkinitska. He has Crystal Redentor, and he has Tower of Volney. That's pretty good. Okay, we can also upgrade our cavalry right now, and I think we definitely will. So, boom. Flying land ships, bitches. <laughs> 60 combat strength. That's all, all the oil we have right now. But holy shit, that is, uh, that is quite a sight. Flying land ships. Alright, I think maybe we should go for battleships right now. Probably a good idea. We just want to make sure Robin doesn't take back any of these cities that we've just taken. We might need some more workers in here, too. Embassy with Ephraim? Sure, why not? So, what kind of other uh, units does Robin have? Or what other cities do? He has this city, Bethron. He has Southtown. We probably want to go and take down Southtown as well. And then I think Erika might be our next target. Oh, wow. Our cavalry took a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely fucking amazing. Flying land ships, ladies and gentlemen. Now, normally land ships are kind of trash. I don't like them at all. Because they... Uh, they're slow, they're clunky, they cost oil, which you don't have a lot of. I just never really saw the point in building land ships. Don't like tanks and civilization in general, but... Here, they might be really good. Alright, Ostia, let's go for a... Maybe a seaport would be good in here? I think just, we need production. We really need production, I feel. One hammer for... That's not really worth it, in my opinion. I think, uh... Ostia's growing pretty big, but it really struggles with production. Maybe we should just grab a shrine. And then, possibly a zoo for happiness. I have a lot of happiness now, but I, I never say no to more happiness. Anyway, I'm just gonna queue up these basic buildings. And the workshop. Maybe we should go for the workshop first, so these other buildings go faster. Probably not a horrible idea. Alright, we do want to leave, like, a small token for... We probably want to leave a land ship over here. Just to help, because Robin might move back in to try and take Illustal back. And we definitely don't want that to happen, so... 25 gold to trade with Fort Rigvold. So I think, yeah, it's definitely gonna be Erika next. We can probably just take Southtown. It's a good city, so I think I want to keep it. And then, uh, and then it's definitely Erika once we get battleships, so... But, oh fuck, we don't have oil. So we can't build battleships, so well, I guess we'll just take the city by land then. Yep, I think that's what we'll do. Let's, uh, I think we can probably keep... Nah, you know what? We'll move these guys down as well. We probably want all of our forces down here to deal with uh, Erika. I mean, if Robin comes this way, we can always just ride back and catch him, because we're so fucking mobile, so we don't really need to leave a token force behind to defend. We are probably going to be just fine. Oh, can't we pillage this? Oh, I thought we would, I thought we would be able to pillage, but I guess I was mistaken. I guess I was mistaken. 
We need two more Gatling guns as well, once we're done with the stadium, to, uh, to garrison the other, uh, to garrison the two cities that we took. Also, our spy just uncovered something. Ooh, someone stole text from Burn. That's not good. Oh shit, Narshan, no! Fuck, we're gonna lose Narshan. Never mind, Narshan's safe. But we might lose Heath. Well, I'm sorry, Heath, but Narshan's more important than you. So I think once we take Southtown, we could probably sign peace with Robin again. No, oh, Heath! We lost Heath! <laughs> I'm sorry. Looks like the AI is indeed smart enough to go in for the kill. I didn't think it necessarily would be, so that's kind of refreshing to see, actually. Alright. Southtown is most likely going to fall on the morrow. Because I got, like, a million artillery in range right now. So I think we're going to be pretty fine. And after, yeah, as I said, after that, it's going to be Erika. She's like the next natural target for me to go for. I'm probably just going to try to snipe capitals at this point. Also, do we want to get a... I think I'm actually going to go for a manufactory on this island. Dragon's Gate could use some extra production, I think. All right, Southtown is going to fall tomorrow, 100%. Just go for a market. A temple, a castle, and actually, why why do we need a temple at this point? There's no point. A castle, and a hospital, and a military academy, and a stadium. And yet another policy. We can get a level 3 policy. So, I think Class Witch Legacy is what we want right here. Probably gonna last us for the rest of the game. 25% bonus to all militarians for the first 50 turns. I really like this, like, this one when you really go on all-out war. 50 turns is an obscure long time. Like, at this point of the game, I don't think this game will go past turn 450, so it will most likely last us the rest of the game. And 25% combat bonus is massive. I mean, that's like a gen great general plus plus for your entire army. Really, really good. Really good policy. Alright, I think we want Wally right now. That really, like, does... really ramps up the damage that our artillery does for our cities. I do like having March on my artillery if they're under attack from, like, the air and stuff like that, but for the most part, you really do not need it. All right, there we go. Oh, really? That was his last city? Oh. No. Ah, uh, crumb, everyone. Forgive me. Oh, okay. I thought he had more, but I guess my colorblindness got the better of me. Okay, so Robin is completely wiped out from the map. And now it is time to move on to Erica. And she's like, right. Castle Renee is like right ahead, so. We're just gonna have like a short period where we heal up. And move into range and get our artillery in position. And then it's on to Erika. Cephiel's bulldozing at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Actually, even if you surrender, you'll still have to fight. So I'm conquering the world and I'm giving it over to the dragons, bitches. Alright, temple one turn. Might as well finish it, I guess. And then I think an arsenal for happiness and a stadium for happiness. I just want to... I want as much happiness as humanly possible right now. And I could probably go for hotels too. Because I don't really have anything left to build. There we go. Probably set all my cities to food focus right now. Just grow them. Because it's not like I'm going to run out of happiness right away, right? Alinsha has completed the Manhattan Project. I've been keeping a sharp eye on you. Trouble and madness about in battle. And it seems you're full of it. I'd strike you down, but maybe you'd enjoy that. So Alinsha just built nukes. Okay, that's, um... That's, that's certainly happened. So Alinsha's just gearing up for nukes. Good to know, I guess. So I think Alinsha might be, like, the final boss. Because she definitely seems to be the biggest threat right now. She's certainly the most advanced. She's more advanced than me, that's for sure. Alright, maybe we need a bigger army to take her on. I don't know. Could be. Anyway, let's grab a hospital. We probably want hospitals in most of our cities, because that I don't I don't know why the Hector music is playing, but yeah, I would just like to say that I don't know what happened, but the game crashed. It just froze. I have no idea why, but yeah. It was time to end the episode anyway. So do give this uh part a like and a comment. And uh I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bow, bow, pa, 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 da, bow, pa, 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 pa,